Hi there, great to see you as always. I'm coming to you today from my home office with a fun and historic story to tell you and the lessons that you can learn from it. So the story actually happened on November 2nd, 2016. Do you remember that night? It was the night the Cubs finally won the World Series. Now I have to admit, I'm not a huge sports fan, mainly because I don't let myself get into it, because if I get into sports, I get really into sports. But that night we were at a friend's house with our kids and the plane was kind of loose. Uh, we were going, going to order some food, let the kids play, have the game on in the background, and get home at a reasonable hour. But then the Cubs led, I think it was like six to three or eight to three, and then uh, there was the tie in the eighth inning, which was intense, and then it went into extra innings, and then there was the rain delay. Before we knew it, it was 9 p.m., uh, the kids were begging to go home, so we gave them popcorn and ice cream and bribed them with video games because even I, a more or less non-sports fan, had to see how this story ended. And, as you likely know, the Cubs won. Go Cubs! Now, the next day, it was all over the news, it was all over the internet that the Cubs were officially the greatest story in baseball history. And I don't think you can argue with that. But the truth is, the Cubs win and their story in general isn't just confined to baseball. There's a lot we can learn, a lot you can learn in your industry of how to become the greatest story without having to wait 108 years to do it. Now, I wrote an article shortly after the game for Success Magazine Online where I talk about this. You can go check out the article. The link is below. But I wanted to give you four of the six tips you could use to harness your story to be the greatest story in your industry. And the first one is this. It's quite simple. Give your people something to cheer for. This is what's great about the Cubs story is they were the ultimate underdogs. And we love, as people, cheering for underdogs. And every business, I believe, has an underdog story. So if you don't have yours, go find it. When was the time that you overcame the odds? When was the time that you were fighting against the Goliaths of your industry? Give your fans, your customers, something to cheer about. Tell them your underdog story. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is don't don't limit your stories. More and more, I hear companies trying to find their one story, thinking that there's one story that communicates everything they are. And while some companies have that story, for the most part, there are as many stories about your brand as there are Cubs fans and their stories about the Cubs' big win. So don't limit yourself to thinking that there just has to be one story. There are many. Embrace them. Tell them. Which actually leads me to my next point, the next lesson you can learn, and that is number three, encourage participation. Okay, so you're not limited to one story. Who has your other stories? Chances are it's your customers. Maybe it's your employees. Seek those stories out. You, can, you will end up being just a, a one-story show if you don't actively look for the other stories that make up your brand. So ask your your fans, their stories about you, and then tell them. And then the fourth point that I'll bring up right here, and you can read the rest later, is this. Don't be afraid to be a little quirky. That's what's so great about the Cubs. Have you heard the story of the goat and the curse? So what are some quirky stories within your organization? Those that people will hang on to and tell and retell. That's what you're looking for. So, so don't don't think you have to be all stiff and um, sterile. Don't be afraid to share your quirky stories. People love them. Now, as I said, there's more tips in the article. I encourage you to go check it out so that you don't have to wait 108 years to be the greatest story in your industry. That's all for now. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And remember, you are just one story from greatness. I hope you choose to tell yours.